वेलकम ऑल इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वेव प्रोपोगेशन थ्रो फ्री स्पेस सो वेन आर वेव इज प्रोपोगेटिंग इन फ्री स्पेस देन देर आर सेवरल पैरामीटर्स डेट आर एसोसिएटेड विद इट वाइल इट्स प्रोपोगेशन सो लेट एस डिस्कस डेट पैरामीटर्स फर्स्ट सो फॉर फ्री स्पेस द फर्स्ट पैरामीटर इज कंडक्टिविटी सिंस द कंडक्टिविटी इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय सिग्मा एंड फॉर द वेव प्रोपोगेशन इन फ्री स्पेस द सिग्मा विल ऑलवेज बी इक्वल्स टू जीरो द सेकेंड पैरामीटर इज परमेबिलिटी एंड द परमेबिलिटी will be represented by mu here in the free space the mu will always be equals to mu zero only where this mu zero represents the permeability in free space now let us have a look at the third parameter that is nothing but permittivity the permittivity will always be denoted by symbol that is epsilon and the epsilon value for the free space will always be equals to epsilon not here this epsilon not represents the permittivity of a wave propagation during the free space now let us have a look at some factor that are associated with wave propagation through free space so the first factor is nothing but propagation constant we know that the propagation constant is denoted by gamma only and in the derivation for the equation of plane wave we discussed that the value of gamma or the propagation constant is equals to under the root j omega mu sigma plus j omega epsilon now we discussed that the value of conductivity for the free space is equals to zero only so for free space the value of sigma is equals to zero on putting the value of sigma is equals to zero we get the propagation constant as under the root j omega mu and the remaining term will be j omega epsilon only if we take out the j omega out of this under root then it will become j omega under the root mu epsilon since we know that for the free space the value of permeability is equals to mu zero and the value of permittivity is equals to epsilon not so for free space mu is equals to mu zero and epsilon is equals to epsilon not so on putting the value of permeability and permittivity we get the propagation constant as j omega under the root mu 0 epsilon 0 so this is the final value of the propagation constant when our wave is propagating in free space now let us have a look at the second factor that is attenuation constant See the attenuation constant will be represented by alpha, and in the derivation of equation of plane wave, we derive the value of alpha as alpha equals to omega under the root mu epsilon over two in bracket under the root one plus sigma over omega epsilon to the power two minus one. 
so this is the attenuation constant since for free space we know that the value of sigma is always be equals to 0 on applying the value of sigma equals to 0 this whole term will become 0 and the remaining will be 1 minus 1 so that will result into the 0 the 0 will get multiplied with this omega under the root mu epsilon by 2 so the final result of the attenuation constant will be 0 only so we can say that the attenuation constant is equal to 0 when the wave is propagating in free space now let us have a look at the third factor <coughs> that is phase constant a phase constant can be represented by beta and we know that the value of beta is equal to omega under the root mu epsilon over 2 in bracket 1 plus sigma over omega epsilon to the power 2 this is under the root plus 1 so this is the value of phase constant and we know that for free space the value of sigma that is conductivity is equal to 0 on putting the value of conductivity that is 0 here we get beta equals to omega under the root mu epsilon over 2 and in place of this conductivity we write 0 so here 1 and plus 1 only so 1 plus 1 will get 2 and 2 will get cancelled out with this 2 so the value of beta will be equal to omega under the root mu epsilon since for free space permeability mu is equal to mu 0 and permittivity epsilon is equal to epsilon 0 so if we replace it then the value of phase constant will be equal to omega under the root mu 0 epsilon 0 so this is the expression for phase constant while the wave is propagating in free space now let us have a look at the fourth parameter factor so the fourth factor is phase velocity c the phase velocity can always be represented as vp that will be equal to omega over beta since we calculated the value of beta that is nothing but equal to omega under the root mu zero epsilon zero so we replace it with the value of beta that is omega under the root mu zero epsilon zero so this omega will get cancelled out with this omega and the final value of phase velocity is equal to 1 over under the root mu 0 epsilon 0 so this is the value of phase velocity when the wave is propagating in free space now let us have a look at the fifth factor that is nothing but intrinsic impedance The intrinsic impedance is denoted by neta and the value of neta is nothing but equals to under the root j omega mu over sigma plus j omega epsilon and we know that for free space the value of sigma is equals to zero on putting the value of sigma that is equal to 0 we get the intrinsic impedance at under the root j omega mu j omega epsilon 
this j omega will get cancelled out with this j omega so we get under the root mu over epsilon since we know that for free space the value of permeability that is equals to mu zero only and the value of permittivity is equals to epsilon naught on replacing both these term we get our intrinsic impedance at under the root mu zero over epsilon zero and since the value of mu zero over epsilon zero is equals to 120 pi so on replacing the value of under the root mu zero over epsilon zero with 120 pi we get intrinsic impedance is equals to 120 pi only so this is the value of intrinsic impedance when the wave is propagating in free space so this is all about the parameters and the factors associated with the wave propagation in free space if you like my videos then do subscribe my channel and please hit the like button thank you